now I know a lot of people, uh, their incomes, they don't have it. it it's, it's basically gone. And, you know, some people are trying to figure out how they're going to pay this, how they're going to pay that. Luckily, because everything is closed down, you know, uh, we're not spending money as much. But imagine that uh, the economy is shut down. And J.R. Reidinger, if you listen to our CEO, he always talks about creating our own economy. So imagine this, our, the whole economy is shut down. But when it comes to our business, that's based on creating our own economy, it's booming. Uh, you just heard Gigi talk about how she's seen record sales in her business in 22 years. So it's like, it's the perfect time to take advantage of what's, of what's going on. And when I say take advantage, I don't mean like we're going to prey on people's fears or people's people's panic. What I mean is we want to be that calming light. We want to be that calming person who's going to say, well, I have a solution for you. Whether it's I'm, I'm not able to make the money I'm making, whether it's, you know, um, I don't know what to do when it comes to protecting myself health-wise, building up my immune system. So it's literally the perfect time. And, you know, we even had a business partner reach out today that um, her business, she's a traditional business owner, and she's been inactive for a little bit. And she reached out to, to me and Jay to say, hey, listen, I don't have any income right now because of what's going on with this pandemic. So I'm ready to come back, I'm ready to build this business. So the first thing that, that I pay attention to when, when I think about everything that's going on is just having the gratitude. You know, out of all the, I don't know, 7 billion people on the planet, there, there's not that many who are on franchise owners. So think about the, 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 I don't know if it's luck, I don't know if it's just you know, divine intervention, but we have the ability to, to change the perspective or the projection of, of what's going on. And um, right now, you know what, we, we're social distancing, so we can't associate much with, much with positive people, but um, we do get to leverage. When, when we talk about choosing MA, we get to leverage this company. And I don't know if you've noticed, but Dr. D, she's having back-to-back -back seminars, health seminars. That I don't have to pay her. I don't have to do anything. I just tell people, hey, I have this doctor. She's very knowledgeable. Jump on this webinar. Um, we get to leverage J.R. Reidinger, the CEO of the company, on Wednesdays, talking about creating original income, something that's, it, that's reserved for only a special elite group of people. And he's teaching us about that and how we can get that as well. So we get to leverage this company, the products, which matter more now more than ever before, a yep. system and a team. So when it comes to choosing MA, I'm so grateful because leverage was never one of the, my favorite ones. It was never the one that I said, wow, I, that's what I really want. You know, it was always personal growth, open door policy. But right now, it really is leverage. And the other thing is, we all have this common goal of, of being financially independent. Um, a lot of us have a goal of just being that beacon of hope in our family, being the first one to get out of the rat race, being that, that person that anyone could rely on in our family and in our circle of, of friends. So if we have a common goal to succeed together where we're independently wealthy, I feel like now more than ever is when we can see what it would be like to have that. You know, looking at our leaders like Olivia, um, looking at our leaders like Benson and Wayne and knowing that they do not have to go out there and put their health at risk if they really don't need to because they don't have to answer to anybody because they don't have to to report somewhere. I feel like that is such a beautiful thing. And most people right now who don't have to report somewhere, they literally have to look at their income dwindle. And, you know, we have people who've done this and not just Benson and Olivia and Wayne, but think about the other people in the area like Beverly, who we just yep. heard from. Gigi, who was a nurse, like, 
for nurses right now, it is the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. We have so many people dying and we have a no visitation policy. So uh, people are dying alone in this hospital, in all hospitals. So it's like, it's such a crazy time that we really got to think about what we can do to make a difference. There's a lot of people who are, you know, donating food, donating supplies, donating time, whatever they can to kind of do their part during this pandemic. And, you know, we have uh, not the cookie, but the bakery. How can we help people with the bakery? And so I want, I want everyone to think about how can we help people with the bakery? And isn't it a beautiful thing that if we help people and the more people we help, the more we're able to get to that common goal faster, easier. And um, it's just, it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing when, when you think about it, people working together towards this common goal. That's exactly what's happening in the hospital right now. Before uh, for transport, we, there's certain areas we didn't go, like we didn't go mm. to the OR, we didn't go to the PACU, we didn't go to like the ER and PGR and all that stuff. And right, right now, because we all have a common goal of like taking care of each other, yeah. all the rules don't matter anymore. Um, we're going everywhere, we're doing everything. And, you know, we, we have uh, people working in different uh, departments and it's just, it's all hands on deck right now. And that's because of what's going on. So I feel like we can do that for our business. It, we can put all hands on deck right now so that when this is all over, we're all in a much better place to be able to say if this happens again or anything similar to this, whether it's the economy, anything, that there's not just a few people who are protected, a few people who have this leverage, a few people who got to their common goal. I believe we can do it together. And right now, the trend is health. There's, I'm seeing studies about vitamin C. I'm seeing studies about vitamin D. I'm seeing zinc being recommended. I'm seeing um, elderberry, which is not ORAC. Yeah. All these things when it comes to building up the immune system. I mean, mm -hmm. never in my MA career have I seen aloe juice sell out or vitamin C or vitamin D or immune. <laughs> but um, you know all these things are like flying off the shelves how much of that market share do we want how much of that market share are we going to create you know in the month of March um, one of the weeks uh, I was able to do over 800 BV so you know for the whole month of March I'm pretty sure I did probably closer to um to like, uh, I'd say 1300 BV, but um, and that's my best month ever. And, and it really is because of what's going on. So we do have a trend. Uh, unfortunately, it's not a, a great trend because of what's going on when it comes yeah. to health and people getting sick, but we do have the solution. We do have something that can help. And, you know, I believed in our products before but now I got a whole new level of belief. Uh, some of you might've known, I actually got sick and was diagnosed COVID positive. And, um, you know, I decided I'm gonna freaking beat this thing because I believe in our products. And I drank like 80 ounces of everything uh, every day. And I drank tea, garlic, ginger, uh, you name it, like everything I know in the Jamaican book of freaking health and nutrition, I did it. Did you send the garlic from Jamaica? Orac, I did like five caps of ORAC, five caps of vitamin C, five caps of OPC, uh, two caps of vitamin D, and two caps of, of immune. I also did multi-mineral because of zinc and magnesium. Oh. You name it, I did acai because acai has vitamin C in it as well. You name it, I took it. And I don't know, I can't say, well, products cured me, but I do know that I was not feeling very well um, when it comes to, you know, I knew this wasn't the flu when, when it hit me. Oh. And um, 
I was just so grateful that I had these products because I don't know, I can't say that my experience would have been the same. I have two friends who are close to me who also got it. And um, one ended up in an urgent care and one ended up, ended up in an ER. So I don't know, or actually more than one ended up in the ER and they're around my age. So um, I'm just grateful for these products now more than ever. And um, I'm excited to empower people to know that they can create their own story. Um, we don't have to live in fear. This thing is very, very, very serious. I do not want to downplay that. However, we do have options. We can build up our immune system. Hospitals are using vitamin C to treat people and they are recommending vitamin D based on what it does when it comes to preventing acute respiratory distress syndrome. There's just so much that, that, that science based out there. So even though before a lot of health professionals may have been more just about medicine, when, we don't, when it's something like this where we don't have a lot of options because it's new and they're looking at everything and nutrition and supplementation is one of them. So the last reason why, why, um, why this business is so important to me right now is because of the residual income that, that we have the potential of making. And um, time freedom is, is something that I, I say I want more now than ever. Um, not because I don't want to be here with my team, not because, um, you know, it's, it's not honorable to, to want to make a difference doing something like this, but it's more because like, I want an option. I want the option to say, Hey, if, if I'm not getting the support from the medical profession, from the CDC, from every, every freaking, you know, from not having PPE and masks and gloves and all these things, um, we were fighting a losing battle at first. So knowing that you're going into battle to, to protect and to serve and to save and you don't have the right equipment, you kind of feel like people don't have your back like that. And even when um, I was diagnosed positive, they said that, um, well, when was your last fever? And I told them, you know, it's, it was Saturday and um, this was Tuesday. And they're like, oh, well, the CDC says that if you are um, symptom free for 72 hours, then that means that you can come back to work. And it was shocking to me because I'm thinking, wait a minute, why would I come back to work if I'm positive? I just got the test like yesterday. Um, and they're like, well, you know, everyone's wearing masks, so everyone's safe. <laughs> and I was like, ah, no wonder we're having an outbreak if that's what the CDC says. But, um, you know, it's just, Knowing that we're building this thing, we can have an option where if we don't want to put our health at risk, we could say, you know what, forget that. Forget the CDC and what they say. Um, I feel like my, my health is, is, is of more importance and the health of the people around me is of more importance. I feel like I, I, I don't need to be around other people if I'm positive and um, just knowing that they don't have our backs like that was an eye opener. So I just wanted to share that with all that's going on, with me getting sick, with um, you know the hospital locking down and going crazy, we turned our, our cafeteria into a 72 bed COVID unit. That's how serious it is. So we don't, we don't eat at our cafeteria anymore. It's like completely shut down. Um, that's how serious things are. With all that going on, my business grew. My business is doing record in sales, and I'm I'm looking at the just every all the numbers in 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 amazement. Like wow, this is what this business can do. This is what the potential is, and I'm so excited for everyone to see that kind of spike in their business and. And I want everyone to, to think about when this is over, where's our, where's our business going to be, right? Now that people are home, how many exposures do we have? If, if, if we're not activated right now, our number one thing 
and goals should be. I need to get activated by the end of this pandemic because so many people need this now. So many need our products. So many people need our business. So many people need this leverage. So many people need this open door policy, the personal growth, everything that comes with our business. People need now more than ever. So that's my part for tonight. I want to thank our team for just being diligent, for, for helping so many people. I see the numbers. I see what everybody's doing. Shout out to the people with Shopping Annuity, J-Rod, Heather, um, Steven. Awesome job. Let's make that a habit. Let's get more people hitting Shopping Annuity. Let's, let's, let's make that our focus because that's how we're going to be able to feed each other's annuity through making sure that we all hit shopping annuity. So thank you for the opportunity to share. I'd like to give it back to Benson. Thank you, Chevy. <clears throat> and, um, you know, besides the business, you know, just want to shout out to you. And, uh, you know, I know Heather's not on the call, but we got multiple people from our team that's uh, really working in the front line. And, you know, they're, they're risking their lives. And, you know, it's funny that um, since this whole thing started, <clears throat> I mean, it started in, in, in China, it started in Asia. And I remember it was before Miami World Conference, I was talking to J-Rod, Mo, and Chevy about this COVID-19, right? This whatever virus you want to talk about. And, you know, we, we were joking about it. We we're like, nah, it's not going to be that serious, this and that. But, you know, nobody predicted this. Nobody wanted to predict this. But the truth is, it's here. And it's, you know, you got to hear it from, we can't just hear it from the media. We can't just hear it from social media. Um, <clears throat> you can't because all these sources are so, we don't know where it's coming from, right? Um, even the numbers online, is it real? Is it true? We don't know, but we got people like Chevy that's working in the front line and he can tell you all the truth of what's going on in Hackensack, mm -hmm. um, you know, medical center and forget about New York guys. The videos you guys see, I like, I have people that I know or business partners, cross lines that works in the hospital. They have no solution. They're going to work. Nurses and doctors are going to work like literally driving themselves and their entire family crazy. Like mentally they can't go to work because they feel like they're going to die. They're going to save people and die. And what's the solution? There is no solution. Mm. Right. And you also got, you know, I'm not here to talk about politics, but we also got mm. a president that's talking about nonsense every day. It's changing something. And like the other day, he just said, he's not going to put on a mask. And I'm like, dude, you're crazy because you're leading by example. So all these people are still thinking it is okay. When the entire Asia, like I was talking to my parents, I'm like, are you guys okay? And Mo and I were just talking about it. Taiwan is 60 miles away from China. All right. We've been having lockdown since January. No Chinese are allowed to come into Taiwan. And that's why as close as we are, uh, the CDC predicted, the WHO predicted Taiwan was going to be the second um, mm -hmm. largest country that's going to get affected by the COVID. But as of right now, today, we have less than 400 cases, the whole country. And only five people had died from COVID. So why? Because people that leads are, are ready for it. But if we don't have someone that's going to really lead for us, I was joking with Beverly yesterday when we were on the phone. We have 50 countries in the U.S., just so you guys know. <laughs> Every single state is doing their own thing. And you, you talk about capitalism, perfect time to, to talk about capitalism. Each state is fighting for their own good, and they're fighting with each other. That's how messed up it is. You know, Chevy, you're working at the, the hospital. I'm pretty sure none of the has hospitals has enough ventilators. And they're fighting fighting against each other, bidding, actually bidding for the price. And guess what? Because we're capitalism, every single state are fighting for the vent, the vent and then they're bidding for it. So it goes higher and higher, higher and the government chimes in later and, and makes the highest bid. 
Nobody cares. At the end of the day, it's a money game. And we have the opportunity, the business to break this chain. Like, like Chevy's, I love how you started. We're creating our own economy. There's no better way to put this. Yes, we're, we're helping people, but at the same time, you know, we, we also still got to talk about how do we put food on the table, right? 30 something percent unemployment rate that's going to come up within the next two months, 30 something percent. And if this thing drags for another three to six months, which it might happen, we're looking at 60 percent unemployment rate. And you guys are probably going to see, you guys already see it at your job, at your work. Don was just talking about 30 something people got fired. Right. Um, my whole family's going crazy about losing jobs. You know, um, as a traditional business owner, yeah, you got all the freedom, but people are crying literally because they can't even pay rent. You know, a, a good friend of mine just started his business. The guy saved up eight years of his income eight years of his income and just started his own traditional business restaurant, right? Moved down from New York to Georgia, which is one of the worst state right now, right? Um, they just opened up their beach the other day, <laughs> the state of Georgia. Like they're not getting the right information or, or whatever. The guy launched his restaurant mid February. He said, dude, I'm about to go bankrupt with everything I saved up for the past eight years. He said, we have less than, than 10 orders per day. He said, I'm 90% 90, 90 short on my rent. And he just, the, the, the traditional business, he invested close to a million dollars. Can't pay for rent. And I told him about this business and you know what? It's the first time I felt what Frank Kiefer talked about. It's later than you think. Because eight months ago when I, was, when I sat down with him and did an appointment, he was laughing at my business. He said, dude, like you're talking about selling OPC for $20. That's like pff, penny, penny income. I'm like, okay. But now he can't even afford rent. When we're talking about Georgia. We're not talking about New York City. Right? We're not talking about Flushing. We're not talking about like, you know, Bergen County, right? We're talking about places that's super expensive. So, you know, from all kinds of angle, looking into this business, that's why we come back to why I choose this business, right? So I wanna, I wanna share with you guys my screen, and we're gonna <coughs> wrap it up. Um, you know, hopefully you guys get, can see my screen and. Um, you know, you look at what's going on. Hopefully, were you guys on Mark Ashley's um, Zoom the other day? If you're not, go back and watch it, man. I, I think um, this was the best presentation he's ever done. Um, not saying the ones that he did weren't good at the convention, but this was the best, man. The guy got so emotional. Um, how much the company does for us, our employees, um, and I say our employees because we're the true owner of this business, right? You know, we have employees that we don't pay a dime for. 800 something employees, right? And the situation is simple. Everyone's at home um, and, and people are looking for a solution. People are losing their jobs. We're talking about, look at here, 3.3 million, right? For unemployment, we're, we're hitting 32%. It was at 3.5% end of last year, quarter four, quarter three, right? Total job loss, 47 million guys. This is no joke. What makes us think we're not the next one? You know, we're talking about technology. I was walking, watching this documentary the other day and the guy was talking about future economy. And I'm like, wow, this is interesting. And he said, by 2030, 10 years from now, he said, the whole world is going to be virtual like it or not, some places won't be able to replace like, like restaurants, but you're not going to see movie theaters anymore. And w just watch this after this pandemic. Are you like, let's just say this thing ends. Are you guys ready to just go back to the uh, theater and just watch movie and like sit right next to people that's coughing? 
I'm not going to go back to a movie theater for a good year, right? Those businesses are going to be out. Sports games, all these things. Can you imagine a couple of years from now, we're going to be all watch, putting on like a VR thing. We're going to be sitting in front row of an NBA game, a, a baseball game, a football game and paying a fraction of it. And that's the future. That is the future. And guess what? Because of this pandemic, let's talk about business for a second. This thing is going to come overnight. Zoom is here. A lot of us aren't familiar with Zoom or we don't use anything like this, but you got to adapt. You have to adapt. Right. And, you know, Mark was talking about if I didn't have this business and I still have to run my business or our company never partnered up with Zoom, we got to pay a hundred something dollars on a monthly basis just to get the service. But we're paying $9.99. And on top of that, we got IBV. I mean, there's no better business out there, right? Look at the stores that's, that's closing. I don't know if you guys look at um, the, some of the news. I'm always interested in look at the business world. I mean, we, we got a president that's all about business too, right? Um, but did you guys realize a lot of the top CEOs resigned um, right before this pandemic? Is it a coincidence? <laughs> Or did they know it already? How about the stock market? You know, all these people that are really in the stock market, I'm not talking about the average Joes. I'm talking about people that's really in the stock market. Did you know that they're making billions? They're not losing money. They're not losing a dime because they know what's going to happen. Right? So do you believe at the end, at the end of the day, you know, what, what, what Chevy talked about, why choose MA? There's a lot of reason, but do you believe in it? When you believe your action will speak. When you believe your action is going to speak, meaning you're going to have results, right? I'm here to share with you guys, if we're not jumping on these Zooms, you're, you're just missing out. You're just missing out. You, we got to organize with our time and get on these Zooms and like take advantage of this. First time ever. We're paying nothing to get all these great trainings from all these greats, right, Chevy? Like the things that we're learning from JR, this is a thousand dollars moving up seminar stuff that myself, Chevy, multiple people that spend thousands of dollars just to fly down to Miami, get trained by him, right? And how about our, our corporate team? How about how our corporate team formed together so quick, like, a week ago, we were like a week ago before these Zooms started, we were still having our local seminar with Olivia. Boom, a week from then, everything's on Zoom, everything's ready. The UBP, the locals, everyone adjusted so fast. And as if nothing affected us, matter of fact, just like what Chevy said, I hate to say this, but I've also never had this type of business growth. It sucks that it's because of this pandemic, but I, I'm not ashamed to tell you guys that my, my income went up because I made the right decision 10 years ago to, to build this business, to have this business. So it's not my plan, B, it's my plan A, my plan A plus. Like the fact that I'm just speaking for myself, the fact that I don't have to walk into my traditional business and just cry about the rent the employees what am i going to do with my inventory what what is my life going to be all these stress that i would have no solution whatsoever maybe i have to wait for the government to bail me out and who knows if that's going to ever happen right so we got to believe whether if it's from ourselves or from other people we got to believe that this could happen in a positive way to us in a negative way, something like this could happen again. It's not going to be COVID. It's going to be something else. Every 10 years, there's something that's going to happen. I mean, 2008, 2009, the economy crashed. Maybe a lot of us were, were younger. We didn't get affected. How about our parents? Right? So are we ready for it? And here's what I want to tell you. The true belief really comes from personal results. Other people's result can only inspire you or irritate you, but your own result is what's going to help you to grow in this business. So what is my suggestion? <clears throat> what is the rule of success in our business? 
we got to follow the success formula, right? I didn't get the chance to type it out, but do we understand the success formula in this business, right? We got to grow. We got to grow with, with, with what? With duplication. We got to grow with duplication, right? And we got to really grow with expanding the business. And we can, then we're going to have results, right? Are we using our time the right way, right? T to the quality. Are we using our time the right way to learn something? Whether or not if it's about shop.com, are we taking advantage to read a little bit more? Watch a little bit more YouTube that you never got the chance to. <clears throat> Study the products a little bit more, right? Built on, you know, customers. Are we doing that? Are we coming out of this quarantine saying, man, sucks. Or, man, I was ready for this, man. I was so ready and I, and I was able to recognize I have potential with this. <clears throat> so are we following the system, right? There's no more ticket, but are we still selling the events? Right? Are we commit? And I have all these three commits. Are we committed to grow? Don't answer it to, to your senior business partner. This has nothing to do with your senior business partner and junior business partner. If you're not on this Zoom, you're not on it. Like, are we the one that, that needs everyone to like, sorry, are we the one that needs everyone to remind us to get on these trainings? Or are we, are we the one who's jumping on these trainings? Or are we the one that's reminding people to get on these trainings? Three different levels will make you three different incomes. And that's just step one towards success, knowledge. And we got to take this knowledge to make it into what results, which is the shopping annuity, right? We're one week into this quarter. Are you 9%, 8% done with your shopping annuity this quarter, right? Are we ordering products for ourselves? Are we retailing products? Are you commit to being loyal to your products? Are you out there still using other branded products or you're waking up early to fight for the sanitizers tomorrow, right? Or on the ninth, are you ready to fight for the snap? People are like, oh, I got my bottle. I think that's selfish. Do you have five bottles, 10 bottles when your customer needs it, when your family needs it? I'm ordering these bottles and I'm, here's the thing, I'm giving them out. I don't care if I'm losing 10, it's $10. I'm not like Chevy waste, uh, uh, risking his life at the, at, the, at the hospital. I'm wasting $10. Matter of fact, investing $10 to mail it and drop ship it to my friend that's going to thank me for the rest of his or her life for thinking about them. Did you reach out just to, I wrote this down. I don't know about you guys, but I, was, I, I realized who are my best friends in these past four weeks. And you know what? It's all my MA family. People that I thought were my best friends, a lot of them never, didn't even reach out to me. <clears throat> they know I live in New York. They know I'm in the worst state when it talks, when we're talking about COVID. They didn't call me, they didn't text me. But my MA friends, my MA family, not just from my own team, our team, I'm talking about people calling me and I'm like, who is this? I picked out the phone. This person's I'm, I'm, I'm who and who I'm, I'm part of the New Jersey GMTSS. I was at the local. Thank you so much for being the local corner. How's your family doing in New York? I don't know these people, but where else are you going to have a family like this? If we don't have market America and shop.com, people don't give a shit about us. At least that's my, maybe it's me, you know, not doing my job as, as a friend or, but, I'm reaching out to people, asking them if they're okay, if they're, how their families are. But, you know, do, do, you can only, I'm so, I'm just grateful. Like what Chevy said, I'm grateful that I have this family of, of Market America. You know, people like, I'm not even joking, people like Andrew Wiseman texted me. I'm talking about corporate team of Market America. Be like, hey, how's, how's everything in Flushing? Jim Winkler, how's family? Phil Guido, how's the family in New York? Like right? everyone. Colton, Dave and Stacey Whited, Don Martin, Big Al, all these people reaching out personally. 
not a mass message, right? So we committed to help more people. Are we ready to have purchase these products to not only help our business, but help people, right? How about expanding your business committed to leverage, right? So what is the, the, the game plan? <clears throat> the game plan is to execute with the shopping annuity. Over the past three to four weeks, I realized maybe some of you guys are also talking to a lot of people and trying to like get them to like aware that they need a plan B. But I realized most people are really in the contracting mode, not the expanding mode. Most people are looking for safety net, not how do I get out there and risk again? <clears throat> so my suggestion to you is to start the retailing game, not the recruiting game, right? Unless this person is talking about, bro, I need a change. I need something. What is your business? Until they ask me, I'm not going to offer this business because I know they're not ready. They're just stressed out. Maybe all they need is a bliss. And we're offering them a 3,600 per week opportunity. Guys, talk about talk and theme. We got to be ready to talk about the right thing at the right time. Do you guys agree? Because we can't be offering business when people are looking for sanitizers. Right, so offer them the right thing and focus on these numbers. The first number will be your BV. Am I focusing on 125 BV this week? Right, sanitizers are coming out tomorrow. I'm ready, 9 a.m. I know we gotta wait. We have to wait this, uh, this, this vitamin C from nine to what, almost noon, right? I was able to purchase them and get it to my customer. That's why it matters, right? Are we ready to get on this and get our sanitizers? Right, and then just two invites. Two invites, again, I'm not talking about business. Maybe two invites to a product training. Two invites just to like, hey, you know, I got a, I got a zappy hour going on. What's a zappy hour? It's a happy hour on Zoom. We call it the zappy hour this Friday. You wanna jump on and just chill? <laughs> right, or create your own zappy hour. Create your own coffee tea time. Right, call people up and text people. Say, Mo, how's it going? Miss you, man. How's the family? Everything okay? Yeah, yeah, good. Hey, what are you doing on Friday afternoon? Let's grab coffee. What do you mean? Well, let's grab coffee on Zoom. You can do that with the free Zoom. You don't have to buy an account. Call them on Facetime. Reach out to people. Right, and you'll find out they need. They all need a lot more than you th more than you think. Right. So, the last thing is to build a base ten. Right through this, we'll be able to really build a base tent, but it starts from you, it starts from me. Right when, when when we talk about all these products, are you the person that's that's looking at the group group text and be like, oh, they're pushing products again? Or are you on the group chat and being like, I gotta get my own, I gotta convert my own spending into earning? Am I using these essential products right now? Low PC, antioxidant, vitamin C, immune vitamin, uh, the, the chews, the, the disinfectant, the clear shield. Do you have these products, right? If you don't have them, are we representing our products or are we still using? Yeah, I know a lot of people still say, well, I, got, I, I bought alcohol, I bought sanitizers from CVS, from Walmart. You're not representing your business. And that's probably why you're not close to hitting the shopping annuity, right? So we got to be, we can't be traders of our business. Can't be traders of our business. So are we, do, do we, are, are we actually identifying what's going on? What's important, right? And building that base 10. <clears throat> How about we take the next four to six months? I'd say three months. How about this quarter to really build a base 10? Then you built the seven strong. Right? Do we have base 10 customers? Are people purchasing 30 to 40 BV? Not 300. Stop looking at Christina's number, Diana's number, Olivia's number, and be like, I can never retail 1,000 BV. Here's the truth. Olivia never retailed 1,000 BV either. But she started at 800, started at 600, started at 500, started at 100, started at zero. Everyone went through the same process. Do you agree? Right? It's like Chevy talking about it's one of his biggest retailing week, week retailing month. Did you, did you really sat down and say, Oh, it's going to be so easy for me to retail 800 BV this week. <laughs> so easy. No, but you just went for it. 
you set some type of goal, whether if it's verbally, you wrote it down, or like mentally, doesn't matter. I'm not here to talk about basic five right now. We're talking about, are you really doing it? The numbers will just show, show. The numbers will represent your belief. Do you guys agree? Like vitamin C, do you have the guts to, you know, I mean, Jose purchased 16. I'm like, dude, 16? He said, yeah, eight already sold. And then the next following message, he said, I'm selling all these eight in the next week. Because I know it's not even a belief of, oh, I'm going to sell it. It's a belief of, damn, people need these. I'm saving lives out there. Right? And how about coming out from this quarantine, like what Chevy talked about? How about we get freaking activated, man? I am sick and tired of looking at a lot of your volumes. I don't know. <laughs> you should be sick and tired of looking at one, of your, one side of your volume, too, if you're not activated. And I'm not saying this to push you, to motivate you, to irritate you. I'm just telling you. $300 right now is good money. Good money. If you have to go out there and sell something, you got to go out there and work and you know, put in extra hours of time. Uh, honestly, if you make good income per hour, good for you. If you don't, $20 an hour, that's 15 hours of work, guys. 15 hours of work that you don't have to put in. And you shouldn't put in to risk your lives out there or like work more hours that you could have, should have played, stayed home with your kids, you know, taking care of your parents or talk, telling your parents and say, you know what, dad, you know what, mom, fuck work. Don't go to work. You're not risking your life to go to work. I'm taking care of you. It's not a lot, but I got $300 extra this month. It's going to take care of our groceries. That's enough. Then we'll figure out this after this quarantine stuff, right? It's not that far guys. Stop looking at this and say, this is far away. I can't do it. No, you can do it. We can do it. It's a mindset that we got to change. We got to believe in ourselves, starting from the shopping annuity, starting from the products. And then through this process, people will look at it and say, okay, what's this business all about that you're talking? Right? Then we can invite them to the Zooms, the ZBPs, the corings that JR talk about. <clears throat> Not just throw people on the Zoom and webinar, Expect them to learn something, right? I'm going to close with this, right? I agree with what Chevy talked about. Um, this, I, I've never had this feeling <clears throat> ever that I made the right decision. I've always believed I made the right decision, but it has never been this clear, guys. Never. Um whether if it's from the health standpoint, business standpoint, income standpoint, anything, right? Um, and I want you to have it too. And I, I, I say this all the time. I am not, I, I, honestly, even on this Zoom call, I am not the one that makes the most money out of all of us. I'm not, but I'm rich in friendship. I am rich and wealthy because I have a, I can make a choice. I'm rich and healthy that the fact that when my friends and say, what do you have? I can say, Hey, I got you. Let me, let me send this to you. You, you need this. I'm rich in that aspect. Right. And if you build this business, right. Starting from today, two to three years down the road, one to two years down the road, five to 10 years down the road, when next time shit happens, shift happens, you can say, man, 2020, when COVID was happening, when this pandemic was happening, I made the decision to change my life, my family's life, our family's future. And that was the best decision I've ever made. Because now I make 5,000 a month. I make 10,000 a month. I made it, I make additional 1,500 a month. So my family can be safe now through health, through wealth, right? So let's really... Um, get down to business guys. Tomorrow we got a, a bunch of great events starting from seven o'clock, our team call workshop. How about we get on it and just jump on our comfort zone and make some phone calls, text messages together. We got to do this together, guys. Three pack events right after that, following with JR and I believe Jim and then Andrew Chi with Elizabeth Weber. Whew. That's a, that's a convention closing right there. Right. I'm excited about that. Right. 
And then <clears throat> Thursday, I, I know there's more jam-packed um, uh, uh, trainings we, we have. Uh, what is it? We got, again, we got Jim Winkler's uh, UBP on Thursday, right? Dennis Franks and then Lisa, um, Lisa Martin with Dr. D. Are you writing these things down on your calendar, right? And of course, Friday night, we're going to have our uh, Zappy Hour. <clears throat> Uh, it's, uh, it's, a it's more like a team gathering. We will actually do, uh, I don't know how many of you guys were at the Chinese New Year party we did at uh, HQ. Uh, we're gonna do the Kahoot game again. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Uh, this time I'm gonna be the host. Uh, Wayne's gonna be the host and Olivia's gonna be the host. So we got three different uh, uh, games for you guys. I know Chevy wants the revenge so bad. Um, he gave up last time after he got wrong the first question. It's okay. We got three chances this time to beat Wayne and J-Rod. <laughs> We're going to have a lot of fun, um, you know, BYOB, you know, but, but Saturday morning we got HVP. So we're going to have fun, but don't drink too much. But we're going to start at eight. We can end a little bit earlier. Uh, but, uh, t t you know, take this as an as advantage, like Chevy said. Uh, but more importantly, stay safe out there, guys. Uh, I love you guys. I miss you guys. I can't wait to, like, see you guys hug you guys um it's crazy I, I feel like like i'm like i'm growing out like mushrooms or something like that it's like i'm, I'm home like it's crazy you know uh, but this is it but before before we end our call um want to have everyone to actually unmute yourself um and um i guess share with you guys share with us i guess what you took away the most from today's team gathering team coring uh, so we're going to start from Shervalo. Awesome, awesome. Bro. Thank you, Ben, for sharing. Um, you know, from, from what I got was um, really irritation as well. You know, I hate, I hate looking at, at, at the organization and I see so many people with one side and knowing that I'm getting paid on the volume and they're not, it hurts because we could all use this money and it's, it's volume that we created together. So it's like, why wouldn't you want to get paid on it? You know, um, so many guys might know that uh, Heather's the last person I sponsored and she's at the bottom on, on the left. And that, that retail in month that I had, like every single BV went down there. So it's like, why aren't we all getting paid on it? You know, like JR created this, the, the reason why we could place volume all the way down is so that everyone should be paid on, on, in between. And, and it's just, you know, it, it hurts to know that people could use the money and, and they're not getting paid on it because it's there. It's there. So let's, let's get activated and let's, let's, let's jump on a, a call soon and, and let's go over the law of creation. Let's, let's visualize. Let's, let's get back into that state and that feeling of what it would feel like to get that $300 this week and to get it next week and to get it next week and to get it next week. To know that every, every ounce of energy that you're putting in, it's going to pay you a week from now, a month from now, a year from now, 10 years from now, like Benson said, so that we could start directing our energy and our time and efforts into the right place where we know it's going to matter where we know it's going to count. So thank you for the opportunity to share. Awesome. Awesome. Right. And talk about a little bit of irritation to you guys. I was sharing this with Chevy and I want to share with you guys too. Um, this Friday, Maggie's actually going to hit EC, right? Um, so proud of her. She's 20 years old. And here's the thing, Chevy, not only he's, she's getting that $600 check, at the same time, she's getting her first IBV check. So nine hundred dollars in a week, what? man. So I am. I'm getting goosebumps sharing this with you guys. I'm. I'm excited for her. Uh, took her 22 months to get to this point of hitting EC, but I'm gonna be popping the champagne. She's not 21, so I'll drink for her. But I'm just so proud of her. 20 years mm. old, her family's restaurant is closed, shut down, no income coming in. And a 20 year old can say, mom, don't worry about it. I got $900 coming in next week. I can feed our whole family. Mm. Think about that. A lot of Think food. about that for a second. $900 coming in next week. I can feed the family as a 20 year old. Right? So 
if that doesn't motivate you or irritate you, I don't know what's going to irritate you. She's 20 years old and you guys could probably, she's not the most talkative person. Mm -hmm. She's not the most skill given person. She's not even the most talented, but she follows, she learns, she's on every single zoom and she cares. She wants it. She She cares. She wants it. Right. So just want to throw that out there to you guys. Next, let's have Moda share. All right, thank you, Benson and uh, Chevy, for the training tonight. Uh, one thing I really got out tonight uh, was uh, the belief part. Um, once you start believing, the, the, success, the um, success will come from the personal results. So definitely the belief part and believing in the business, the products, and more important, most importantly, believing in yourself. Like uh, you have to believe in yourself first and be, believe that you 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 can do this. Like Benson just shared, but Maggie. Uh, her story, but definitely believing in yourself and like believe once you start believing you can do one thing, you could do anything. So definitely that belief part from tonight. So that's what I want to share. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much, Mo. And next let's have Dana to share. Yeah. Okay. Um, thank you everybody. And, and Benson and oh, you, you floored me. Okay. I have a perspective. It's slightly different than yours, but, um, I think we need it. Right. So what I got out of this was I'm starting at the wrong time, <laughs> meaning I wish I had started 10 years ago. All right. So uh, that's, that's really what I meant. Um, what I also get out of this is, and I always say it, it means a lot to me. This feels like home, you know, it feels like family. And, and that really is the most important to know that, you know, when I'm slipping or, maybe not the best, okay, that there's always somebody behind me prodding me, you know, along uh, in a positive direction. So that's really what I got out of this. Um, so much other nuggets, but uh, for the most part, that's what's most important to me, okay? Uh, so that's it. Awesome. Thank you so okay. much. Thank mm -hmm. you. Next, let's have Allie to share with us. Hi guys, um, great job um, Benson and thank mm. you for setting up the coring tonight. Um, what I got away with the most is the fact that we have a business, again like everybody mentioned, that's always ahead of the trend. Um, sad that it's a pandemic and a lot of us are affected not having our jobs, um, having businesses completely closed, uh, but being able to offer not a business, but a solution for people that are scared for their health. Um, and just learning how to speak to people about our products and being educated and being present at the trainings. Um, when my nurse friends have questions for me because I attend trainings and they ask me for elderberry and we immediately that we have OREC. So being able to answer questions and provide solutions is really a blessing and I'm grateful for having this business and you guys. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much. Right. And it's truly a blessing to help people. There's no, there's no other ways to describe it. Like when people tell us what's going on, what they need, or like even like what, you know, what, what Chevy shared at the hospital, like we have solution rather than just saying, I'll pray for you or good luck. Right. We really have the solution. Right. So next, let's have Jonathan to share. Hey, guys. Uh, yeah. You know, I it just it's been a it was a great day today. Uh, great uh, ZBP or whatever. Um, and uh, you know, I got onto this call late because I was uh, in the middle of a call for work. Um, but, you know, I just want to share something, you know, uh, to the point of gratitude and uh, and, you know, seeing how what hard work does, right? I mean, I know everyone on this call works really hard. Everyone on this call has a big heart. Everyone on this call cares about people. Everyone on this call wants to be successful. Everyone on this call has real goals and dreams that they want to achieve, right? Uh, my question is, how bad do you want it? You know, how bad do you want it? And are you willing to jump out of your comfort zone? You know, we I, I played a, a quick game with the, with our um, core team in uh, for Jersey and uh, Mo made a funny comment and said he feels like he doesn't know me, right? Uh, something you will not ever know about me is that I'm afraid of public speaking. Absolutely afraid of it, right? And it's, it's hard to believe because I'm very talkative, very very uh, uh, extrovert and stuff like that. But when it comes to public speaking, I'm extremely afraid. But what I've learned is that 
I need to do it so that I could one day be successful, right? And so stepping out of our comfort zone is going to be the biggest thing that we do. And as you all know, you know, I'm pretty much like a, working as an entrepreneur full time now because I'm working on on straight commissions and I'm having a lot of success right now with the other company as well. And why is that? It's because of all the stuff that I learned in this business. All the trainings, all the coins, all the calls, all the call workshops, like all of that, right? And I absolutely am, I'm not the biggest fan of making calls, but right now I'm in a position where I have to make calls to be, to, to, to be able to feed, feed myself and have, and hit my goal of retiring my mom this year, right? And if I don't step out of my comfort zone, I'll never hit it. So we have to have that, we have to have that mentality. Hey, I, how bad is it? How bad? What's worse, the fact if if I don't achieve my goals and they never get to experience what we want to achieve, like how bad, like that would suck way more than making a phone call, you know. And that's that's what I compare it to. And you know, we have an opportunity to do something very powerful. It's not about how long it takes us to get to executive coordinator or coordinator, none of that. It's about it's about when we decide to make a decision and then go after it, right? And you know, this business is is we have a phenomenal team. People have our backs no matter what we do. Shout out to Dana right here because you're on the bottom right on my screen. Uh, you know, you, you you know you made a decision to get on the Facebook group, right? And that's a big step. That's a big step. You know, it may, it may seem small to people. People might understand, but I do because we, we talk. But that's a big step. You're stepping out of your comfort zone right now. You know what I mean? And that's something that, that it takes balls to do that. It takes fucking balls, man. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to... No one said that this business was going to be easy. No one said being an entrepreneur is going to be easy, but it's going to be fucking worth it. And I feel it right now, and I feel it with this business, and I feel it with the fact that I have way more fucking sales now than I've ever had. And people are like, oh, you're, are you guys gouging products? No, we're not gouging prices. We're not fucking Amazon. No. Nope. We're not fucking Amazon. I'm giving people discounts. You understand that? I'm giving people 10% discounts. Why? Because... Because we're in some tough times. People don't have jobs, man. People don't have money coming in. Yeah. We're grateful to have a fucking business that gets paid. And if you have 15,000 volume on one side of your leg, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? I'm talking to you guys right now. What are you doing? I'm getting, I'm, I'm in, in your face right now. Why? Because I want you to fucking make it. Like, I hate getting paid on your volume because no one else is. I fucking can't stand it. Why? Because I know you guys. And I know every one of your goals and dreams. It's like, come on, man. How, how, how bad is it? How hard is it to say hello to somebody? How hard is it to reach out to somebody that needs you right now, that doesn't have a job? How hard is that? It's not. How hard is it to reach out to somebody that you know you can help them with, with, their, with their immune system? I have friends that don't listen to me. I have parents, family members that don't listen to me. You think I care? No, I don't care. There's way more other people in this world. I just got a new customer today from California. I've never been to California, but why do I get it? Because I've been posting trim tea out the ass every fucking <laughs> day, every day. And now I got a hit today. She wants samples. I'm sending her samples. Great. I had a large order that just got placed earlier today from another customer because she wants to put her daughter on our products because she's afraid of COVID. Yep. I like making calls. I don't like speaking in front of people like that. I like to have conversations with groups but not in a big setting and not to be a public speaker and not to make calls. But guess what? It's what I got to do to make us become successful so that people can, can have a better lifestyle. We got to understand that it's bigger than us, man. It's bigger than us. So let's just make, let's just, let's just step out of our comfort zones, man. People need us, man. People need us and you need it. Every single one of us needs it. This business is, is, is a blessing, man. And like the fact that Benson shared about his story today, like I love the fact that he did that. I love the fact that he said that I'm, I'm just grateful for the, that I made the decision, the correct decision 10 years ago. So mm -hmm. the rest of us, I'm glad I made the decision to do this business in 2011. Best decision I ever made. I didn't know what I was make, what decision I was making, but the 30 year old me is happy as hell that the 20, that the 22 year old me made a, a decision on the fly. W what are we going to say five years from now when we look back at COVID-19? Are we going to say that when we were the ones that shied away? Are we the ones that expanded and, and, and grew as mm. people? Whoop, whoop. Mm. That's mm. it. Thank you. Mm. Wow. Thank you. Right? Are we, uh, are we going to have that victim mentality? We're going to come out as a victor. Right? It's, it's so important. And, and guess what? Either way, you're right. You're making the call. You're making the decision. You are responsible for the end result. And, you know, 
just understand, you know, on top of what J-Rod said, with what Dana talked about, hey, the good news is you got us. Hmm. Like, at your job, at your tradition, at my former traditional business, I, I would never say my employees got my back. Never. They would never tell me, I got your back, boss. Go on vacation, we'll make you more money. No. <laughs> right? Same thing with the hospital. At the end of the day, it's a business, right? Chevy, you don't see your CEO working at the, at the hospital, at the COVID, nope. the COVID floor, taking care of the patients, nope. risking his life, her life, whatever. No. They're still making mi millions and millions. And they're out there quarantining themselves, being safe, so you can work for them. Right? But we got you. I just want you guys to understand. Right? So next, let's have Dawn to share. Hey, everyone. Thank you, Benson and Chevy, for presenting tonight. Um, it really hit home for me just how you guys always make sure that we focus on what we're supposed to focus on. So definitely uh, reaching out to more people. Uh, people are noticing I'm being more consistent with my products. They're asking me for more products. I've had more sales in the past couple weeks. And definitely just being focused and just listening more. So if they just need bliss, I'm going to give them bliss. Like I'm not going to give them the business right away. Just really meeting them where they're at and then just keeping focused. Mm. Awesome. So. It's all about consistency, right? It's all about that consistency. Next, let's have our business from a business partner all the way from Missouri, right? <laughs> St. Louis area, De Derek DJ. Okay, what's going on, good peoples? Um, first off, I want to say that, you know, Lillian and I definitely been thinking and praying about you guys in the tri-state area and um, we hope and pray that everything works out for you um, and um, you're definitely in our thoughts and prayers and we are keeping um, keeping you guys in our mind 100% so um, for me one of the main things is um, like I said just getting a chance to listen to everybody you can listen to the team but also um, hearing uh, what's going on with um, how things have, have updated for COVID for everybody. Um, and also listening to the, to the testimony from Chevy, um, like I said, you're blown away. Um, all the products that we have, um, I'm actually getting for a couple of my people at work are asking me, you know, hey, you know, what's the stuff that you use? Well, I've been working from home for the past couple of weeks, but I'm um, shot over a couple of days ago. I was like, hey, what's the stuff that you use? Um, I'm interested, you know, what's going on? Right. But um, it, they, they know. And I mean, the thing is, is that now, you know, it's with everything going out, you know, I'm like, hey, I got the stuff. I need to make sure that I'm, that my skills are sharp. So that way I know how to tell folks what I got, how to, let them know and make sure that I'm staying consistent with uh, taking the products, which mm -hmm. have definitely helps and I can definitely feel it on there too. But I'm definitely glad to talk with y'all and um, see how everybody's doing and um, hear from everyone. So definitely good to hear from y'all. Thank you. All right, brother. Miss you, man. Thank you so much for keeping all of us yeah. in your prayers. Thanks. Say hi to Lillian. We miss her too. All right. Oh yeah. Um, She's, she there? Gonna say hi to us, maybe in a bit. <laughs> but um, last Monday, so I'm gonna have Steven Violante to also share with us. He's in the woods, uh, but thanks for jumping on to the Zoom. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> but uh, welcome, Steven. <laughs> uh, thank you everyone for sharing tonight. Uh, it's a lot of information, uh, mainly just this is what this business was built for. This is what I'm just, it's like the saying is later than you think, but it's like what I've been saying to everyone lately, I we have to prepare for something that's going to happen. Like this business is built to create our own economy, no matter the circumstances of the outside world, we're creating our own little bubble. And really like just knowing that I'm not like what we're all saying, we're not profiting off of this yet. And it's really just starts thinking about it, okay, now they made the right steps and like, think of the action plan, all right. First step we gotta do is tomorrow we have a call workshop, start from there and uh, just ready, started making a list and just make a decision to go forward and 
make a change and do my work. And like, since we're all like, I'm in the house now, I'm just changing a location of where I'm going just so I can sit down and sit in the meeting. So it's like a different, it's different for your brain to come out because you have a different mindset because it's sitting in uh, the bedroom, laying on the bed, kind of more relaxed, but just creating more schedulized even though you're in the house to schedule your time even more because uh, I'm doing a lot of stuff now just scheduling what I'm doing throughout the day and making more structure so you're not going crazy because you're sitting inside and yeah I'm just glad to hear from everybody I'll get updated and have more situations is and just plugging back in again and let's do this this is time for us to leverage it's the best time to, this is, even though it's the worst it's not a good time but we said it's a great time to leverage our platform awesome thank you so much for sharing uh so um this will be the end but uh that's that's stay consistent um we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do our best to update with you guys all the zooms events uh, of course tomorrow we got jr and some packed events coming up with with the corporate zoom thursday we got ubp with jim winkler also on the zoom friday don't miss our zappy hour right we start at 8 p.m. Get your drinks ready. I don't care what you want to drink. Products, whiskey, beer, wine, champagne. Beer. Whatever. Taiwan beer. Yes. Yes, no. Right? But you better be drinking. We're going to play some music. We're going to chill. We're going to hang out. We're going to play some games. So have your game face, game status, whatever ready. Uh, but uh I just want you guys to be safe and I, I, I hope to see you guys soon. Um, we're going to get out of this together, um, but for the good, right? So you have the ability to make that decision, but that's it for tonight. Thanks for jumping on. Have a great night. We'll see you guys tomorrow on Zoom. Good night. Hey, Benson, at the end, can I shave you? Uh, after no, this no. is over, can I shave you? No, no, I'm I'm trying really hard. I'm getting I'm getting to um I'm getting to uh, Chevy's level. Then I'm gonna get to Bay Rod's level, and then Steven's level. And I'm catching up with you. The two to three. Not gonna play. happen. Oh, <laughs> baby. <laughs> I'm getting there. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Yeah. Love your shirt, man. Be safe. Bro. Oh, we have a shop local. Go get your IBV. Let's go. <laughs> hey, good night. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Love you guys. Oh, Bye. Let's go. Bye. Bye.